Hello everyone, my name is Emily and welcome back to the University of Lincoln Student Life YouTube channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about moving out. So at the end of every year, if you are at student accommodation, unless you are staying again next year, you have to move out, which is a really big and daunting task, but I have collated five of my best tips to try and make that process easier for you. Number one is to clean everything. Clean everything that you are packing and then also clean the room after you finish packing. So clean your room after you finish packing because it gives you the best possible chance of getting your security deposit back, which is something that is really hard to do if you leave a really messy and untidy room. It's really easy to do, just get some antibacterial wipes or spray, wipe down the surfaces, vacuum the floor, Maybe if you have time, mop the floor, clean the showers, all simple things like that that you probably would do already, but just make sure you do them once everything is out of your room as you can reach those harder to get spots when there is stuff in your room. And then also clean everything before you pack it away. Often when you are packing things away at the end of each university year, you'll find that you're packing things that you won't use until next year. I know for me, I had a coffee machine that I already have one at home, so I know I'm not gonna use that one. So I made sure to clean it and pack it away so it's in storage and it's nice and clean for when I want to use it again in September when I move into my new accommodation. Because the last thing you want is to unpack everything in September and find that there's dirt, dust and mould in things that's been festering over the last few months. Number two is to make sure you have designated people to help you pack and move things. It sounds really silly but I know a lot of people who didn't think about planning with their parents or whoever is going to be taking them home about a meeting point, when they're coming and they had to organise all of that very last minute and it was really stressful for them. So plan in advance with whoever is coming to pick you up about a timing, where they're going to park so that they're not parking miles away and you have to carry loads of luggage over to their car. Just simple things that you don't really think about until it's happening. Number three, tell the people that you're living with. Say, this is my last day or my last week, let's go and do something. Let's make some memories whilst I'm still here because the worst thing is when you're in that car or on the train home and you realise I really wish we'd gone out one last time as a flat or wherever you are living and you can make those last memories with your friends. Number four, cook whatever you have left. Don't go out and, you know, spend lots of money on a big food shop because you're not going to use it. Cook everything that you have, make big batches, and if you have them, use a cooler bag and then you can bring some food home if necessary. Or the University of Lincoln do have several drop-off places if you have dried food. So that's things like pasta, rice, anything that's unopened, as well as stationery and cleaning supplies. The majority of them can be found in the ground floor of the university library as well as the accommodation offices that you're living in. Number five, kind of links to the first one but wash your clothes because again you'll find a lot of things especially going home in summer so your winter clothes aren't going to be used that much. So make sure that you do a big laundry load before you leave university so if you're packing away big jumpers and wintery clothes that you're not going to use over the summer that they're not going to be dusty, dirty or smelly when you unpack them in September. So those were five of my tips for moving out of university and I really hope that you enjoyed this video.